know if a Gemini likes you. Uh, number one, they'll talk, <laughs> and they will talk, and they will. And this is coming from a Gemini, by the way. I'm not picking on my fellow kind, or if I am, I'm, st I'm doing it out of love and out of personal experience from my own life. We we talk and we talk and we talk, and it's not to say that a Gemini doesn't like you if they. Uh, don't talk to you for a time, especially if you've gotten to know each other and you've had a lot of experiences and conversations. Uh, it could just be that they have other stuff going on in their life. Like everybody, we all have to juggle all sorts of different things with our job and health and finances and this and so other social relationships and all that stuff. Um, so it's not to say that if they're not talking to you all the time, there's something wrong. And of course, it's also good to keep in mind that there's a lot of different kind of Geminis. You got Geminis with Mercury Gemini, like myself. We are the stereotypical talkers out of everyone in the Zodiac. And even other Geminis are like, oh my God, will you shut the fuck up sometimes? <laughs> but that being said, we also need our time to recharge and to be on our own and whatnot. And then you have the Geminis with Mercury Cancer and the Geminis with Mercury Taurus, and they're much more, I wouldn't say that they're less social because they still have that sun sign Gemini, but they're they're a little bit more uh, introverted, at least, at least in some sense. They might still be extroverted overall in their temperament, but in some sense when it comes to their thought process, they need to be on their own, they need to process things and ultimately everybody does to some extent, but they especially could really use that time on their own. So. Again, don't don't take it personally if they're not talking to you all the time. And there's different degrees of Gemini talking this. Like my little sister, for example, she's a Gemini Mercury Taurus, talks way and also overall introverted, way, way uh, less of an amount in general than myself as a talker, who's overall extroverted in Gemini Sun and Mercury. That being said, when she talks with her friends, when those who are really close to her, she talks and she talks and she talks. So that's a I know it's a kind of classic one, Gemini as a talker, but that's a that's a big one. Another one is um it's a really good sign that Gemini likes you if they're thinking about you, even when y'all aren't together. So Naturally, for Geminis, it's a very natural gift to just be around others and to be thinking of them and to be very flexible. And that's why a lot of individuals um, have good experiences with Geminis because they feel like there's somebody who takes the effort and has the capability of understanding them and getting to know them. And they're right in many cases. The, that's absolutely one of Gemini's gifts. And as long as we're just taking the time to get to know the person in front of us, we we're exercising that gift and that's a really special thing for us and the other person because we learn about more about uh, that person and people in general and ideas and, and all sorts of different random information and details and whatnot and the other person i mean they can learn a lot too because the gemini's were teachers so that's a good sign if we're taking time to teach you something um that's another one but uh when a gemini is thinking about you and they're not around you that is a really good sign because that means that wherever they are, and, and this is, again, on, on the kind of more challenging end of where people have annoying experiences with us Geminis because we're here and we're totally engaged and this is amazing and this is great and I'm going to keep coming back here and then we're nowhere to be found because we're a butterfly and we need to keep flying into different places. If there's, I'm, I'm 27 years old at the making, well, 27 and a half at the making of this video and if there's anything I've learned as a Gemini, it's, expect change and that's that's true for life philosophy in general but for us gemini's if i have to ask myself am i going to like this what i'm doing right now six months from now chances are probably not i mean i wouldn't say i wouldn't like it but there's very few things activities etc that carry with me through the long term because i need to experience a lot of different facets of things yes it can seem superficial uh, and it can even be superficial at times but at the same time when we're dominated by a necessity of learning as you are as a gemini we need to be able to continue to be learning to continue to be in the gamma phase wavelength uh region how do i put this to be continuing to have gamma waves going off in our our brains and that is the brain way of brain wave of learning of being intensely interested and stimulated by the environment and again it isn't to say that we exhaust all environments there absolutely and there's there's plenty of things in my life that have continued to be a constant and that i continue to enjoy and grow and learn and and uh and develop through but this is kind of going off on a tangent but anyways um, that's 
Oh, yes. So at, when that Gemini is somewhere else and they're learning something new and they're in a different place and they're around different people and they're still thinking about you, that's probably the number one sign because that means that you are on their mind even when they're in a new place. And that means that there's some kind of good compatibility there. I'm not to generalize, of course, but that's a, that is a really good sign for compatibility because that means that you are still in their mind even when you're not with them. And that is as huge for us Gemini's. We like to constantly be thinking about our partner. I mean, not constantly, but in the sense of, of oh, I'm in this new place, and oh, wow, yeah, I think so-and-so would like this. Oh, cool, yeah, oh, nice thoughts. Hmm, interesting. Okay, now I'm back here. Oh, now I'm thinking about them again. That can be really beneficial. And the last thing, um, they introduce you to their closest friends. Again, Gemini knows everyone, uh, but those who really know Gemini, I mean, that, that particular individual, like really know them. If you get to know those individuals, if you're introduced to those individuals by the Gemini, that is a sign that you are in that person's world to stay. Uh, at least at least as much as is you know meant to be, of course. But that is a, a by meant to be I mean uh, if it's beneficial for you both. Again, I don't mean to generalize about all Gemini relationships and whatnot. And if these things happen, that is a for sure thing to guarantee. But it is a really good sign if these three signs are there that this person likes you and they really want you to stay in their life. Yeah. Again, us Gemini's no guarantees, but if those three signs are there, that's a good sign. Hmm. And a really good sign that this could work out between a Gemini and, and whoever else. If you both are interested in the same field, and this is a field of interest to the Gemini that they've already exhibited interest for a long time, that's an especially good sign, or that they they seem like their interest is so strong that it is going to last for a lifetime, that's excellent. If you both are interested in the same thing and you both continue to grow and develop on your different perspectives on it and then share those perspectives with each other, that is like a Gemini's wet dream. So. Infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. I always forget this part. Um, as always, I'm doing readings, and the readings are in the about section of this video. And uh, I also would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you to my Patreon patrons. It's truly a pleasure to make videos for you and for everybody. And Thank you for your suggestions to make certain videos. And if you would like to influence the different videos that I make, please feel free to join my Patreon account through the About section of this video or to book reading in the About section of this video. We can get your reading set up and or we can go ahead and get your suggestions in and we can get those videos made that you want me to make. And also just you will be supporting my work and trying to understand the universe, ourselves, myself, others, and to give those insights to others for their contemplation. Thank you.